Welcome everyone to another production of North Greenville University Soccer live here on the North Greenville Sports Network via the Ustream channel. Glad you could join us tonight as the North Greenville women get ready to take on the Columbia International Women in non-conference soccer competition. Ansley Brock, our sideline reporter, is down on the sideline with head coach Andy Robinson. things well that they uh, they've been doing so far um, and learning that they can be successful but they can't get away from what they've been practicing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis so it, it's them coming out and doing what they need to do and um, playing hard you know leaving it on the field and so because they did the little things well they were able to be successful all right well thank you we wish you the best of luck it. thank you back to y'all all right for this North Greenville University women's team you don't have to look any farther than number one Lindsay Toot she has been a majority of the offense provided for this team. On the Rams side for Columbia International, number 12, Elena Batterman, and number 22, Angela McMaster, both lead the team with three goals apiece. So we will be keeping an eye 
on them for you tonight. See if they work their way into the starting rotation as we already see McMaster number 22, the last player in line for the Rams. Be looking for number 12 as well. North Greenville sitting at an even 500, five and five on the season. The Rams bring a five and four record into this non-conference matchup. With today's starting lineups, first for the visitors, the Rams. Here comes the starting lineup. Number two, lineups. Esther Edwards. Number two, Esther Edwards. Number three, Kayla Swales. Number three, Kayla Swales. Number five, Kayla Collins. Number five, Kayla Collins. Number nine, Taylor Endicott. Number nine, Taylor Endicott. Number 11, Janae McMaster. Number 11, Janae McMaster. Number 12, Elena Batterman. And there is Batterman. Number 33, Angel Simpson. Number 14, Naomi Reed. Number 33, Emily Angel Ruger. Simpson, listed as 13, but wearing 33 here tonight. Number 18, tonight. Mandy Shoemate. Number 22, Angela McMaster. And there is Angela McMaster. The Rams are coached by Kara Farnsworth and assisted by Jeff Monkton. Head coach for the, the Rams, for your North Greenville Crusaders. Kara Farnsworth. At midfield, number 22, Catherine Allen. Now for North Greenville, there's number 22, four, Catherine number Allen. One, Lindsay Tootin. A junior, Lindsay Tootin. At four, number four, Courtney Etheridge. Another junior, Courtney At defender, Etheridge. Number 23, Sarah Forrester. Sarah Forrester getting the start tonight. At defender, number five, Karis Hoover. Karis Hoover defending. At forward, number 17, Megan Robertson. And Megan Robertson, number 17. At midfield, number six, Alex Pagliero. And Alex Pagliero. At defender, number 19, Tori Owens. Rock solid defender for North Greenville, number 19, Tori Owens. Number 33, Madeline Schober. And then your keeper, number 33, and Madeline four, Schober. Number 18, Sierra Singh. Sierra Singh, number defender, 18. Number 9, Riley Marks. And number 9, Riley Marks. The Crusaders are coached by Andy Robinson. He is assisted by Donovan Got a sideline interview with Robinson head coach Caitlin Andy Brown. Robinson. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the invitation. Now we will send it field side for pregame ceremonies. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this beautiful day given us, Lord. Thank you for the many blessings you provide for us, God. Keep each team safe out there from injury, Lord. Um, ultimately, let us all play for your glory and the praise you get. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 
And we are underway between North Greenville and Columbia International. North Greenville runs a 4-5-1. 4-5-1. That is their formation. So Columbia International the narrow way blue will go from right to left. And North Cranville in their red, white, and black stripes will go from left to right. Now here's something you don't see every day. Lindsay Tooten has a ball stolen away from her by number five, Kayla Collins. Normally she's on the other side of that. We'll see what kind of pace Columbia International elects to start with. As North Cranville is able to steal the ball away. Trying to work it forward to, looks like number 18, Sierra Singh. Now Columbia International looking to strike quick. There's Angela McMaster. She has three goals for the Rams in the near side corner. And the ball run out of bounds by Karis Hoover. And they will say that McMaster last touch it will be a goal kick for Schobert. The key to tonight's game might be, even though you know you want to get the ball to Lindsey Tootin, try and spread it out and see if you can get some other players jump started on offense so that way you don't have a team focusing sing singly on Tootin. And here North Greenville goes. There's Sierra Singh down in the near side corner. Cross deflected off a defender. And an easy save for the keeper, number 33, Angel Simpson. That's exactly like you say, Gray. If you spread, if you don't spread the ball out, the teams will focus on focus on defending the one player who scored most of the goals. Yeah. Green will keeping it away from Columbia International. The most forward, number 12, Elena Batterman. She also has three goals for the Rams unit. Now they're looking to go down the field to Tootin. Tootin on the right wing, trying to get into the box. Here she goes. Here comes a cross off the defender and out of bounds. But North Greenville will get a corner out of it. So Tootin takes what she can get. And North Greenville will send numbers forward to try and stack the box and get a numbers advantage. Tootin gets the ball after the kick. Here comes across into the box, and it goes over the head of every heads of everybody. And Columbia International will settle for a goal kick.
Good defense over there by number 19, Tori Owens. Able to keep the ball away from Batterman. North Greenville with a throw in from the far side. Esther Edwards all over Etheridge and Columbia International comes away with the ball. Oh, strong defensive play there by number nine, Riley Marks. Play is stopped momentarily for a foul. Columbia International will be awarded with a free kick inside their own territory. Looking down the field, number 22, Angela McMaster breaking free, passes off to number 12, Batterman. Batterman with a shot right to Schober. Easy save for her. That's just Schober's bread and butter. Very, very good at guarding the close shots. Going to be a key for the Crusaders. North Greenville looking down the right wing to try and find Toot again. Sails just a little too far for her. The Rams will have a throw in in front of their own bench. They're looking to go down to McMaster. McMaster heads it and finds Batterman who immediately kicks it right back. And Owens there able to cut the pass away between the two most forward attackers, Batterman and McMaster. And Columbia International looking to stack numbers forward again. Number 11, Jane Denai McMaster. Green able to cut the pass away. There goes Tootin down the right wing looking for her again. Defender for Columbia International reaches the ball first. Tootin with a nice back heel shot into the box, deflected back out of bounds. By Columbia International, Crusaders with a throw in. There comes another cross into the box. This one off the top of the foot. Oh, that looks like Riley Marks. Oh, that's number 18. Sierra Sai with a shot that sails over the crossbar. So here comes North Greenville again. Now they'll come down the left wing. Here comes across from the box looking for Tootin. Will sail wide into the side of the net out of bounds. And it'll just be a goal kick for Simpson. Short kick sails right to North Greenville. Now with Owens. Right wing, Catherine Allen. Passes to the center of the field. North Greenville continues to work it with Owens. Club International so far unable to get the ball away from the North Greenville defenders. Riley Marks stays off the challenge from number two, Esther Edwards. Number five, Hoover with a pass back to Schober. Ball goes out of bounds just across the midfield stripe. Crusaders with the throw in. Middle of the field, number six, Aglet Alex Pagliaro. Shot down the field, finds Tootin. Tootin trying to work into some open space, looking to the center of the field. Deflected, here comes a chip shot on goal, and the keeper with a nice save collides with Etheridge, and Etheridge will come out of the pile with a ball, and here comes another shot from the left wing that will sail over the crossbar. And so far, with 36 and a half minutes left to go until 
halftime. That's the best look North Greenville's had in the early game. North Greenville again trying to get Tootin into the box. Here's Etheridge, a shot in, deflected off a defender. Columbia International able to kick it right back to their keeper and it bumps off the left hand of Simpson. North Greenville should have a corner. Here comes the cross into the box. High cross, short, but has a good merit to it. That will sail just short of a North Greenville def attacker. And Columbia International able to clear it for the moment. Now here comes number 22, Allen cuts it away. But number nine for Columbia International, Taylor Endicott steals that one away. And now the Rams looking to get players downfield. Schober comes way off her mark and is able to knock the ball away for the moment. And she had Angela McMaster right in her face. Now the Rams right back on the attack again. Still trying to find McMaster in the middle of the field. Chip shot deflected off of Owens. They find Batterman now on the right wing. Owens right back on defense. And Lady Crusaders is able to finally almost momentarily clear the ball away. Now number three, Swales for the Rams comes down with the ball. And Tootin, another nice back heel, gets the ball into open space. That'll be a clear for North Greenville. And here comes Tootin making defenders myth, miss. Stops for a moment. Chip shot, trying to find number 18. Sierra Sai will deflect out of bounds here on the near side. Throw in for North Greenville finds Tootin. Tootin will have a shot on goal and sail about two feet over the crossbar. Unfortunately, no good. Can't falter for trying, trying to get North Greenville the early lead and put the pressure on Columbia International. Had a good look though. Goal kick for Simpson. Short though, and North Greenville able to handle it cleanly. And now Etheridge on the left wing, cuts it to the center of the field. Quick pass to the middle of the field. Here comes a shot into the back of the net. Number 17, Megan Robertson with the early goal and North Greenville is up 1-0. Etheridge working the left wing, finds Robertson open in space in the box, and Robertson makes a Columbia International pay. Springville being patient, taking their time. Schober looks down the field and gets it to Tootin. Tootin will outrun the defender here on the right wing, looking into the box. Pass off intended for Robinson, cut away by number 18, Mandy Schumati. Lady Crusaders with a throw in though. And now they're trying to find Tootin on the right wing again. Header back to Robertson. Chip shot into the box and goes over the head of Etheridge, but looks like she'll be able to track it down. And she gets to it. And Greenville able to keep it in bounds and keep working the Rams defense. Now they'll look back to the near side and almost a nice sideways kick by Tootin, but near side flag goes up and she's called offside. Still waiting for the day that I can actually call a bicycle kick. Not sure how often those happen though. They're rare for a reason, Greg. Maybe one day. 
Let's go with still working the wing. Columbia International able to knock the pass away. Number nine comes in. Endicott to clear it. And Schober goes back to pick that one up. Endicott ends back up with the ball. Passes forward to number three, Swales. Swales in the center of the field trying to chip it to McMaster. McMaster on the left wing. Number 22 for North Greenville, Allen on defense. McMaster able to win the battle. Now Bannerman will come in. And it's partially cleared, but lands right at the feet of number three, Swales. And now North Greenville able to get it to Tootin. Let's see if she can clear it, and it looks like she'll be able to. There's a collision between number six, Pagliaro, and 18, Shumate. Shumate kicks it out of bounds, and Columbia International trying to go quick and take the throw in. It looks like they'll go ahead and kick the ball back out of bounds again, so Tootin elects take this throw in rather quickly as well. Back-to-back -back throw ins for the Crusaders. Deflected out of bounds. This time off of Pagliaro and the Rams will get it back. McMaster gives chase but Owens goes back to handle the ball. Pass shoved out of bounds. Rams with a throw in. Here's McMaster down the left wing. Into the near side corner as shoving and pushing going on between Allen and McMaster. Sends McMaster to the turf as she's slow to get up. And then she looks like she'll be okay. As the Rams will have a throw in just shy of the corner flag. Trying to get it back, McMaster. Cross into the box, called offside this time by the far side official. Passing back to Pagliara at the middle of the field. North Greenville likes to go all the way to the far side. We'll try and get it down the field, find Etheridge. Etheridge able to keep it away from the defender. And now Columbia International's number four, Abby Amos able to knock that pass away, but North Greenville's Owens right back to it. Stalls any momentum by the Rams. North Greenville goes back the other way. Already 1-0, early goal by number 17, Megan Robertson. Has the Lady Crusaders up over the Rams of Columbia International by one. As the pass intended for number 22, Allen goes out of bounds, it'll be a throw in for the Rams. Still trying to work it down to McMaster. And again deflected out of bounds. This time North Greenville with a throw in, so off the Rams play our last. Here's a nice over the head pass from Robertson, trying to get down the field, Tootin. Two on two, had some help, uh, able to clear it back to Allen. Will work the Pagliaro in the pass just in front of the outstretched foot of Robertson. We'll turn it over back to the Rams, and as soon as I say that, they let the pass go out of bounds on the far side. Crusaders back with another throw in. Pagliaro working against Swales. Now back to the center of the field, and Pagliaro and Swales do battle again. Now Pagliaro dumps it off to Owen. Crusaders taking a very methodical approach, trying to reach the goal. Not, not aiming for the fast breaks, not at, aiming for anything other than just to work it down the field. Whereas CIU, 
They're going fast paced all the way, trying to get to the net. Just different styles of play. Fun to see. There's Robertson, she steals the ball away. Looking down the field, trying to go to the center of the field. As the ball deflects out of bounds, right into the outstretched arms of Simpson. North Greenville head. Sierra side down there, but unable to reach it. Columbia International back the other way with their fast attack. Here's McMaster. Cuts in front of the defender. Number three, Swales loses the pass to North Greenville. Now Tootin back the other way. Makes a move past the defender with the pass. Here on the right wing, looking to cross into the box. Here it goes, far side wide open, and the header missed. I think that was Sai over there. Unable to connect. Work it forward. Here's number three, Swales. And the Rams look back to McMaster. Now they try to find Batterman. Nice clearance over there. Here comes McMaster right back to it. And it's Hoover who finally sends it away and will stall the Rams momentarily. And they'll have to settle for a throw in. Backed up a third of the way down the field. Greenville able to steal another pass away. They'll work down the field, going right. Robertson, right in front of the box, gets the pass. Heavy defense by the Rams, and they will come away with it. Number 18 again for the Rams, Shumati. And it says, here comes Tootin, all the way off the post and in. There's Lindsay Tootin. She finds the back of the net for her first goal of the evening. Off a stolen pass. Came right off the stolen pass, right side of the box, bounced it off the left post. Ended up in the back of the net. 2-0 Crusaders. Well, I'm sure not the way she intended, but all the way across the mouth of the net and deflected. Got the good home bounce, deflect off and in. Makes it 2-0. Robertson and Tootin, the two goals for North Greenville so far. The Rams still trying to find their first, now down two. Substitution lining up to come on for North Greenville as here comes Bannerman. Batterman trying to work in from the right wing. She's unable to do anything as Schober comes up to make the save. Clearance by Schober will land at Pagliaro's feet. Now she's trying to go back to Tootin. Columbia International won't have any of it. They are able to keep it away from her, but Pagliar goes back to retrieve the ball. Dumps it off. Now they'll try to go down the field again to Tootin. Tootin finds a little bit of open room here on the near side. Able to outspin the defender for the moment. Here she comes right back into the box. Cuts it all the way to the center of the field. Passes off. Here comes a chip shot that's going to sail just wide. And actually, I think Simpson, the keeper, was able to just get a hand on it. Just barely. Angel Simpson with the heavenly save. Megan, this is the one you take. 
See what you did there. I've been waiting to use that for 30 minutes. <laughs> North Greenville with a pass corner here from the near side. Tootin with a cross into the box. The header bounces off of number 23, Forrester, who almost had it. That substitution is number eight, Brittany Waldrop. And she gets her first touch right here. The pass is tried to find Tootin, just sails wide of her. And Simpson has to come up to make the save to prevent Etheridge from finding the back of the net. Ball goes out of bounds on the far side. On the green ball with a throw in. Schrober able to send it back the other way. And here goes Tootin. Tootin out races the defense. She'll have one on one with the keeper. Chips it in and another great save by Simpson. Ball goes out of bounds according to the near side official and North Greenville will have a corner out of it. Not often you see that. Tootin one on one with the keeper and the keeper wins the battle. It's not very often you see a keeper win a, win a, win a one on one battle. It's very rare. So North Greenville, a corner from the far side. The shot curls in, looks short. Knocked away for the moment by number three, Swales. North Greenville able to get it back. As Columbia International able once again to hold North Greenville at bay. Well, just clear it out of bounds. And a north, another corner for North Greenville. They'll head back to the far side corner to try again. Comes another shot. This one looks a lot better. It's going to bounce around and go out of the box on the right-hand side. And Columbia International gives chase. Whose ball is it? It was North Greenville's ball. Here comes a throw in for North Greenville. Still not done yet. There's Pagliaro trapped in the near side corner. Passes off. Finds number eight, Waldrop. Yes, Catherine, good idea. As a chip shot back into the box, bounces off a couple of Rams defenders. And Etheridge comes down with it on the left wing. She'll have to pass back to her defense as Columbia International gives pursuit. Number 11 and 12, McMaster and Batterman on pursuit. And North Greenville able to keep it away from them as that pass cut away by number four, Abby Ames. And now there goes number 22 back the other way, Angela McMaster, trying to get a fast break, but she'll have it bounce out of bounds off her foot. Good defense down the left wing by North Greenville, and Crusaders will have a throw in up 2-0, under 20 minutes to play until the halftime break. Just very good awareness to kick it off the, off the attacker instead of straight out of bounds. Ended up being Crusader ball. Throw in. Headed back by number nine for the Rams, Endicott, but North Greenville able to control it afterwards. Gonna try and work it down the left wing, number 12 for the Rams, Elena Batterman, out of bounds off of North Greenville, so Batterman wins the battle and gets the ball back for her Rams. As 18 minutes now left in the first half, Columbia International trying to get some offensive momentum and work the ball behind the North Greenville defense and try and get something on the board in the time that remains. Kick flip by Pagliaro, finds Tootin. She'll pass off, try to get it right back to Tootin, but Columbia International is ready. Deflects the pass, but North Greenville able to get it right back. 
Number 22, Allen working the right wing. She finds Waldrop. Waldrop now trying to get it open space and leads Allen too far. They'll sail out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for Simpson. Short kick, curls to the near side, headed straight up by the defender. And back the other way by Waldrip, as now we have a battle that is finally won by Waldrip. Here comes a chip shot in the box, looking for some help, has it momentarily. Now here comes Tootin, she comes down with the ball. On the right side of the box, Tootin has to pass back. She finds Allen, as it's bounced around. Now here comes Waldrip with a potential shot. As now it goes back to Etheridge, out of the box though. She'll move away from the defense for the moment. Pass back. Still on the left wing. Chance for the cross. A line drive kick. Back heeled by Etheridge. Lands at the feet of Tootin. Here comes a chip shot by Tootin. That's going to sail wide of the left post. No good. And Simpson escapes with another goal kick. Just not enough spin on that kick. Just left of the post, and that'll be a goal kick for the Rams. Interesting move there. One of the defenders for the Rams, and not the keeper, takes the goal kick. And the Rams set up for a free kick. Foul called against North Greenville across the field. The Rams looking downfield. There goes the kick, headed back. The other way by NGU. Now Tootin sets up on the left wing. They find the middle of the field and Robertson. Robertson passes off right through the legs of a defender. Here's Tootin now on the far side of the box. Quick pass into Etheridge. Shot on goal. Saved by Simpson. But you've got to like what the Crusaders are putting together. Just working as a team to get it down the field and get these shots on goal. Even though Tootin does have one of the two goals, they are so far they have so far been able to spread the ball around to other players, so Columbia National doesn't end up focusing on Tootin alone. Well, only two have found the back of the net, but Tootin has not been the only one who's been taking the shots. Had Robertson with the other goal, Etheridge with that latest shot on goal. I'll try to work down the field to Waldrip, but the pass cut away by CIU. And now Swales for the Rams gives chase. But Catherine Allen reaches it first for North Greenville. Schober will reset. And Owens starts the move forward to Pagliaro. Now back to Allen, trying to work down the right wing. Sales past Waldrip, but Waldrip not done yet. And cleared out of bounds here on the near side by Kayla Collins, number five. North Greenville with another chance. Under 14 minutes to play until the halftime break. With a throw in here on the near side as we have the substitution back at the scorer's table. Number 13, Gabriella Porter checks in for number four, Courtney Etheridge. Columbia International might have a chance for a break here. They're going to have a three-on-three -three situation. It's an even match, but the pass from number two, Esther Edwards, her likely intended target was Angela McMaster. She had another teammate open on the right wing, but CIU unable to come up with anything for it. North Greenville works into their side of the field, but CIU stays strong on defense. Now there goes Swales back the other way again. Likes to take it herself. Waldrip giving chase. Hounding her on defense. Owens can't knock it away. Now there goes Batterman on the right wing. Here comes across into the box. Right to Schober. Positioned herself right in front of McMaster who was making the run. And North Greenville stands strong again on defense with Schober anchoring. And the score remains to nil. And if I'm not mistaken, 
That's the first time Shubbers had to make a save in almost 15 minutes. Now here's Tootin on the right wing, back the other way. Here comes across on the box, has two fellow Crusaders open on the far side of the box. Now it goes Waldrip, made a run, had the ball knocked away. And Allen comes up to keep the ball with her team. She'll find Pagliaro. They go all the way into the far side corner. Crusaders unable to keep it in bounds. Rams with the throw in. Sent out of bounds by CIU over there in that corner. Now North Greenville have a throw in as another substitution takes place. That looks like Tootin's coming out for a breather as number 12, Devin Worth, the junior out of Inman, South Carolina, comes into the ball game. Goes North Greenville. Here comes another shot into the box. On target, shot on goal over the crossbar. A little too high off the feet, off the foot of that looks like Waldrop with a shot for North Greenville, but they know unable to connect. Would have been impressive. Off the chest, left foot, didn't even look. Still really close. And now here comes the Rams. They will. Looks like they will make a change. It's number 21 coming onto the field. Uh, Jesse Dukes. Number 16 coming off. That's Emily Brugger. Rams had to play keep away. Now they're gonna try and d take the long ball down the field, but Owens is there. And dangerous pass right in front of McMaster. Cleared away by Schober, though. Shows good awareness back there as North Greenville able to come away with the ball. We are under 10 minutes left to go in the first half. North Greenville leading CIU 2-0. And now looking for their third. Here's Waldrop on the right wing. Passes forward. Center of the field. Now they go back to Allen. CIU able to steal the pass away. Now they're going to try and work it down to Batterman, but too far in front of her will be a throw in for North Greenville. CIU is awarded another free kick on their side of the field. trying to get some numbers forward. They got number 21, Dukes, who just came into the ball game over there, hounding Owens. As Dukes tries to pass forward, but ball will sail out of bounds over there on the far side. North Greenville will take a throw in, try to get it all the way down the field. This throw in had some distance on it, but CIU comes down with it and just knocked out of bounds by number 14, Naomi Reed. Throwing again for North Greenville. This one again cleared away by the Rams. And again, they'll try the long ball down the field over the head of Owens. She'll go back to handle it, kick back to her keeper, Schober. As McMaster comes up to give a challenge, backs out of it, and Schober's able to get rid of the ball. Now North Greenville, plenty of open space in the center of the field. We'll work it down, quick pass, cut away, and now right back to the attacker, Waldrop. But Waldrop once again, 
As the ball ripped away from her and the ball will sail out of bounds just in front of number 12, Elena Batterman as Waldrop not done yet. And looks like that one's gonna be trying to clear out of bounds as North Greenville looks to trap the Rams in the near side corner. And now that one just sent out of bounds by Swales. And Greenville still with a throw in. As the Rams stack that side with three defenders and they're able to get the ball away. Now here comes McMaster trying to find Dukes. And again, Owens comes across the field to handle it. And North Greenville will start anew. Still trying to work that left wing. As Reed able to knock the ball away for the moment. And it will sail out of bounds. On the far side of the Rams ball. Now the ball at the center field, still trying to work it down the field to Worth, but in front of her too much, and it'll go to Simpson for the keeper, or for the goal kick, she'll get rid of it. comes a shot into the box. Defended well by number five on the Rams, Collins. But North Greenville still not done yet. They're on the far side. Here comes a short cross. That's going to go down as a shot and over the crossbar again. That's about the fifth or sixth shot that's gone over the crossbar tonight. For North Greenville, that is. But still able to find... The open space in the box. And North Greenville has been able to connect twice with the back of the net. Five minutes left now in the first half. North Greenville up 2 now. Rams again tried to get a bit of a long ball downfield, but defended well by North Greenville. McMaster tries to pressure Schober again. Schober once again aware as Allen now here on the right wing. Looking to go forward, trying to find Waldrop. But way in front of her and Robertson. Robertson not giving up though. The keeper Simpson comes way off her mark to get rid of it. And good job keeping it in bounds by Batterman who goes back to handle that one. And Bounces out of bounds off Batterman and the throw in from Waldrop. And a shot taken quickly. Easy save for Simpson by number six Pagliaro. Pagliaro not done yet. Runs right into number 18, Shumate. Columbia International finally comes away with the ball. They try to go down the field again, looking for McMaster, but North Greenville ready for it as Hoover able to get that one. And now North Greenville with a strong run down the left wing. Stalled out and kept inbounds by the Rams, though, as the ball does sail out of bounds, but it will stay with CIU off of North Greenville trying to get the ball back. Looks like two substitutions set to come on before the half for NGU. And it looks like they will get the chance as the ball sails out of bounds again on the far side. As we have one substitution as well for the Rams. The Rams, Katie Swift coming in for number five, Kayla Collins. 11 and 24 for North Greenville, Lauren Previtt and Emma Carr. It's 
Columbia International once again pressured just outside their own box, but able to clear it away for the moment. Durant's trying to get a good network of passes going, but North Greenville's defenders once again there. Now here's the first touches for Emma Carr, who just checked in. And it looks like the Lady Crusaders will try and play it safe with two minutes left to go before the half. Again, McMaster and Dukes back there to pressure the ball, but they have been unable to come away with it as of late. Number three joins the fray momentarily, swales. As it looks like she will be rewarded as her team gets the ball back. It sails out of bounds, clearance by North Greenville. Here comes a throw in. Headed back, right back out of bounds, still trying to stall the Rams as they work their way down the field. Under a minute and a half to play here in the first half. As Greenville unable to keep it in bounds again on the far side, so CIU slowly working their way down the sideline. CIU trying to take advantage of Tori Owens being on the bench for the last two minutes of, the, of this half. And now here comes North Greenville. They're trying to find their third of the first half. A shot down the field on the left wing. Now they'll swing it back in and CIU clears it away. Final minute of play here in the first half. Looking back to Hoover and Allen, and now McMaster finally rips it away from Allen. And Catherine Allen sticks with her as she tries to back the ball back up into play. She is successful, and a shot down the field will find number 14, Ashton Robinson. Now all the way down the field looking for Waldrop. The ball stalls out for Waldrop. She'll have a touch on it. Here comes a line drive kick into the box. And CIU unable to get a couple of lucky bounces and get the ball back the other way with under 10 seconds to play. They've got to get something going quick. Four seconds, and North Greenville will just try and run out the clock. And CIU knocks the ball away as the first half expires. So Megan Robertson and Lindsay Tooten find the back of the net here in the first half. They have your two goals for North Greenville. CIU gets a few good looks early, but kept at bay for largely the latter half of the first half. As we hit halftime here between North Greenville and Columbia International, it is 2-0 here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Back just before the second half ready to begin, North Greenville leading two to nil. And shot clock saying that's from the club. Now we have updated live stats. North Greenville leading two to nil. Crusaders with seven shots, six of those on, on goal, so only one not on target. And four have been saved by the keeper for Columbia International, number 33, Angel Simpson. Meanwhile, CIU with only one shot. It was on goal. Second half is ready to begin. North Green with two goals, both one of those by Megan Robertson, the other by Lindsay Tootin. No goals for the Rams as of yet, and we are into the second half. Columbia International now will go from left to right across the field. North Green will go from right to left. They switch ends. And they switch goals. And they'll see if North Greenville can have the same amount of luck at the left goal as they did on the right-hand side. Nobody able to gain a decisive advantage as of yet as they Battle back and forth across the midfield stripe. Columbia International knocks it away, trying once again to go down the field, try and find Angela McMaster. North Greenville has kept her bottled up for the, for the most part of the first half. And a nice spin move by number 22, Catherine Allen. Result in a foul against the Rams, and North Green will have a free kick to start the second half off, a minute and a half in. Now you look down the field, Courtney Etheridge back at her left wing position, trying to out juke the defense. Bumps into him, into the box she goes. Here comes a shot, bounces off a defender, finds Robertson. She keeps it in North Greenville possession. Pass back to Pagliaro now over to the far side. Here comes a long shot in. That's going to go right to Simpson for a save. That'll go down as another shot on goal, but another save for Simpson as well. Shot bounces, and now Columbia International trying to turn the corner with number three, Kayla Swales. 
North Greenville tracks the ball out of bounds. They have it with a throw in, and Swale still doing everything she can to get the ball away. As Robertson comes in with a nice kick, and now number 23, Sarah Forrester, brings it down for North Greenville. And now number nine, Riley Marks, able to hang on despite the pressure from Swales. And number two, Esther Edwards. Greenville trying to work it down the field. They have Forrester in the center. They're trying to go to the right wing. It looks like Tootin out there crossing the box to flex off a defender. Ball loose in the box. And Etheridge had a wide open look at the net and could not connect. It's that shot. But just claps it off and walks away. Another short kick. This time it goes right back to Etheridge. And now here comes Tootin racing into the box. Has a shot into the back of the net. So the short kick fails CIU. And North Greenville connects with Lindsey Tootin again. On the right side of the box, a kick that resembled Andre Sakar in the men's game last week. And that's the second goal of the game for Tootin. Puts North Greenville up 3-0. Now Tootin will have 41 minutes and 15 seconds to try and get herself a hat trick. And that's the second goal she scored off a, stol a stolen pass today. Greenville now has to play defense and keep away from McMaster. Now they try to go back down the field on the right wing, try and connect with Tootin again. As the ball deflects out of bounds off of number nine, Taylor Endicott. So our Greenville will have a throw in. There's Pagliaro on the far side. She has to pass back. And again, I try to pass forward to Tootin, but CIU there to deflect it. I'll try again. Comes a shot into the box, cleared away though by number 12 for the Rams. Batterman gets a foot on that one. Now here's Etheridge, quick flip into the box. Keeper comes off for Mark to handle it. And Simpson will field it right before Robertson can get a touch on it. Well, again, out of bounds off the Rams. North Greenville gets it just past our side of the midfield stripe. Five minutes through the second half, and Lindsey Tootin has scored the third goal of this game. North Greenville up 3-0, trying to finish out the stretch. Left wing Marks trying to go forward to Etheridge. Etheridge, nice move on the defender into the near side corner. She'll pass back. And here comes a shot into the box, cleared away by number five for the Rams, Collins. And now North Greenville right back to it. Pagliaro, right wing, trying to curl it in and gets to it just a moment too late as it will go out of bounds. And Simpson gets away with another goal kick. Crusaders have opened the second half, applying the pressure to the Rams. And again, they're able to steal the pass away from the keeper. And now Etheridge trying to get a touch on it from Robertson, but CIU with numbers back there, the three defenders are able to overpower the two North Greenville attackers. And now Owens has to give chase to it as Swales gives pursuit, and Schober will have to clear it out of bounds to prevent Swales from getting to it. And North Greenville able to clear away the Rams' attack. And now there's number 18, Sierra Sai. 
Center of the field. Nice little quick flip out there to Pagliaro. Pagliaro tries to go for a chip shot up and over to find Tootin, but will go wide the right post and Simpson for a goal kick. CIU once again trying to connect with Angela McMaster, but Owens, North Greenville's, one of North Greenville's top defenders, they've put her against McMaster all night, and Owens has been able to win about nine out of the ten battles every time the ball's come their way. And Owens has been anchoring this defense all night. Normally, the key player in stopping an attack from the Rams team. And the collision between Riley Marks and number three Swale will result in a foul against North Greenville and the Rams will have a free kick within range of the right side post. So CIU with a potential chance to get on the scoreboard. Time slowly running out for the Rams. Shania McMasters to take the kick. Spin on this one, goes into the box, sails wide of two Rams attackers. The most close to that one was Swales. Hey, that ball is not hitting our stick. And it'll be a goal kick for Schober after the cross. The free kick sails wide. Hey, Gray, I know how you love shoe timeouts. Kayla Swales lost her shoe defending that. Ah, so yes, we must have a <laughs> right shoe timeout. As it looks like we might have an interesting substitution coming up for North Greenville, a potential keeper switch. Now here's Marks down the near side wing. Pressured by the defense, knocked away by Edwards. For CIU, able to keep it in bounds. Mark suddenly has to switch back to defense. And Pagliaro gets, intercepts that one in the middle of the field. Chip shot down the right wing, looking for Tootin. Tootin going at about Mach 3 to try and reach the ball, but the defender for CIU gets to it just in time as another substitution comes up. As here comes across on the Barks, another collision, and the ball's still alive. Official says play on. And CIU able to knock it away as one of the defenders for the Rams slow to get up. As now she gets up, as now the official will stop play. And CIU will check out their defender, number 14, Naomi Reed. It'll give her a little bit extra time to recoup. As a plea from one of the players to the official to protect the players is heard. So here comes Schober off her mark to reset the offense for North Greenville. The pass sails wide of the right wing defender out there. And see if we get the substitutions in for North Greenville. Not yet. Battle for this one will sail out of bounds as it's throwing for the Rams again. Still no call for the substitutions yet. And ooh, a nice little pop over there on the far side, number 18 on that challenge, Mandy Fumade. Couldn't tell who it was against for North Greenville, but another nice little collision. Now there goes Marks. Pass back to Owens, pressured by McMaster, but able to get rid of it to Hoover. Now trying to work out the Pagliaro. Now they're trying to go Tootin. Tootin into open space on the right wing. See if she goes for a cross. She'll try and step into the box, and two Rams defenders will herd the ball out of bounds, and the Crusaders should have a corner from the far side as here. We should have the substitutions. We will have a keeper change for North Greenville. 
Ashton Robinson, the defender, coming on. And number zero, this is one zero, Michelle Huddleston. The junior comes in for Madeline Schober, the sophomore. Defender coming up for North Greenville, Sarah Forrester, as Robinson comes in. As North Greenville still not done yet with the attack, working the far side edge of the box. They'll have to pass back. And now they'll try to work the left wing as CIU stays off for a moment. Now here comes across into the box, and it's over the head of the keeper, and Tootin unable to get to it as Simpson came up to try and handle it, but it'll just go out of bounds, and she'll have another goal kick. Golden opportunity just wasn't quite in the right position to take advantage. No harm, no foul. So let's see if here will be Huddleston's first touch. As she'll get rid of it out of bounds, being pressured by Swales. So let's see if CIU puts any pressure on the new keeper for North Greenville. And another strong challenge over there on the far side as this game's starting to get chippy as the temperature goes down. And a North Greenville player slow to get up now on the far side. Trying to stop the clock. The clock continues to run though. CIU coach frustrated with things as North Greenville have a free kick. From the far side. They'll elect to pass. And Riley Marks is all alone on the near side of the field. Let's see if they pass to her. Trying to free up space now on the right wing as here comes a pass to Tootin. On a lot of room for her to run, but she tries to make it herself. Here comes a shot into the box, cleared away for the moment by the Rams, and another corner for North Greenville. The Rams able to get rid of it for the moment. As the keeper for North Greenville is way out of her box, standing up at the next line is Huddleston. Here comes the corner kick by North Greenville. Line drive low to the ground. And out of bounds, shy of the right side post. Simpson with another goal kick. This one, another line drive as well, and low. And North Greenville will bring it in out of bounds, throw in no time lost as right to Tootin it goes. It'll bounce off of her out of bounds, and the Rams will take a quick throw in. Try and kick flip it to Swales. Covered well by Owens for North Greenville. And now Swales gets it right back on the deflection. CIU trying to look numbers forward. McMaster in the middle of the field and a good open arm save by Huddleston. Tested from long range by Swales. And North Greenville looks to turn the advantage back the other way. Long shot by Tootin. Trying to get to Etheridge on the far side, but CIU has a couple of defenders in the way. Now Marks intercepts that pass. She'll try and get it down to Etheridge. Etheridge one-on-one -on -one with number five, Collins. And Collins boots it out of bounds. And a throw in taken quickly by North Greenville, but first a substitution for the Lady Crusaders. Number 11, Lauren Privet back into the ball game her first appearance here in the second half she will go to take the throw in subbing in for Etheridge high throw in but nobody in the box for North Greenville here comes Marks up to field it Swales for CIU clears it though headed back by Hoover finds Robinson now Pagliaro back to the right wing chip shot looking for Tootin and too far in front of her will be a goal kick for Simpson. That one trickles out of bounds. Yes. 
Here comes a goal kick from Simpson. Curls to the near side, defended well by North Greenville, popped straight up into the air. Now it was Previtt trying to get a touch, rip it away from number two, Edwards. Unable to do that, but CIU still back in their defending half, so they've got to get it forward, and it'll bounce off of the number nine, Endicott, out of bounds, and the Crusaders will have a throw in. Number 18 for North Greenville, Sierra Sai frustrated with something, but didn't get the call. And that ball will go back to be retrieved by Hoover. Huddleston on the coverage. She'll pick that one up right in front of McMaster. Dangerous pass right in front of, right in front of one of the leading scores for CIU. And now Robinson trying to turn it back the other way. Pass right to Previtt. Open here on the near side. Looking for number 12. Now here comes Tootin with a chip shot that goes over the crossbar. Well, you try and get to your leading scorer and get her a hat trick, but unable to find the right touch. And Simpson with another goal kick. North Greenville still up 3-0, though, and it looks like Tootin will come back to the bench for a rest. Take a little break and let Brittany Waldrop take her place. Waldrop came in for Tootin in the first half, and Waldrop was able to get a couple of good looks, including a pretty decent shot, but was unable to connect on that one as well. A battle for it right in front of the home side tent, and it looks like CIU is win wins that battle as they come out back into the field of view with it. And now they're looking down the right wing, number nine, Indicott, cuts it back to the middle of the field. North Greenville on defense, but CIU too strong for the moment. There's number 11 now, Demai McMaster and Owen standing right in the middle of the box, is able to hang on to it and get it away from the second McMaster. And now the Crusaders with a quick attack back the other way. That one cut out though by number 18, Shimadi. Still in play though. Now there goes number 11, Previtt stepping in front of that pass. Has it deflected but gets it back. Looking for Waldrop over there on the far side, just checking in in place of Tootin. Trying to get it back into Previtt. Slide challenge cleared away by the Rams. Under 25 minutes to play in the second half. North Greenville up 3 0, just trying to ride out the stretch. Uh, trying to attack down the right wing once again, trying to get it to Swales. It'll sail out of bounds, so Greenville with a throw in. Again, CIU. Have to try and get three goals in 25 minutes. Definitely possible, but North Greenville has been playing solid defense as Robinson quickly back the other way, running out of room, has a wide open number 18 side here on the left wing. Trying to find some space, has that one deflected straight up and back out of bounds off of number 14, Reed. Quick flip into the box. As this one goes out of bounds, cleared away by the Rams. And they'll see it bounce off of a North Greenville player last, so Rams with a throw in, taken quickly. Pagliaro back to Hoover after Pagliaro steals the pass away. Back across midfield, North Greenville goes this pass. Intercepted by number 12 for the moment. Batterman got a touch on it. North Greenville right back the other way. Trying to get it to the middle of the field. Deflected back as we have a flag up on the far side. It looks like a foul called against North Greenville. Rams will have to set up for a free kick as time certainly not in their favor. As a 
Nice battle between Hoover and Edwards. Ends up with Edwards and the Rams winning, and now North Greenville comes right back. Hoover intercepts the second pass, gets it forward to Robinson, deflected around off of three Rams, and they're able to come down with it with number 18, Shmati. And here's Previtt. Nice header there, trying to get to the middle of the field, looking to get it back to Previtt, but the keeper, Simpson comes up off her mark to make the save. A good challenge over there, and then we'll call the foul against North Greenville. Looks like a solid challenge from here, but the official says otherwise. Maybe just a little too aggressive, swiping out at the legs, going for the ball. Call it every time. And now here come the Rams. They look again. Owen stands right in front of that pass, but CIU won't have any of it. As North Greenville, that was number eight, Waldrop comes up to pick that pass up. And they'll send it back into the CIU half of the field. As the tackle, both players go down in a heap for CIU and North Greenville over on the far side. And the Rams should get the ball back after that. As that of bounds off of the player for NGU over there. Stoppage in play for a su one substitution for Columbia International, two substitutions for North Greenville. 16 for the Rams, Emily Brueger back in. I think it was 10 and 13, Jamie Shutt and Gabriella Porter in for the Crusaders. Romania National slowly working their way back down the far side as we approach the 70th minute. 20 to go. North Greenville up 3 0. Cut away by North Greenville. Pinned in on the far side, though, trying to get it away from McMaster. They will succeed for the moment and get it across midfield and run it out of bounds and give it back to CIU. Greenville gets the throw in as Columbia International's attack fizzles out. Kick back to Huddleston. We'll just get rid of it to Marks here on the near side as Swales gives chase, but Marks able to find Hoover. Now some space sails into the near side bench as Marks trying to take out some of her teammates on the bench. Now CIU with a chance, number 11, McMaster. Covered by Hoover though. And Hoover sends it out of bounds. The Rams will have a throw in. Nice twister header, and Robinson returns the favor. Now to Robertson, and a nice block by number two, Edwards. Nice little pop off the ball with that one. Now the Rams trying to get it near side again, working with number nine, intended for Eddie Cott, but out of bounds, and the throw in for North Greenville as North Greenville, here in 18 minutes to go, up three. Now just trying to continue to control as a 
Long shot sails out of bounds off target from Swales and a goal kick for Huddleston. Grimm trying to work it down to Previtt down there on the right wing. Columbia International able to cut it away. And back out of bounds. There's another chance for North Greenville. Over there on the right wing. Nice block by CIU. They'll let it go out of bounds. A corner from the far side for North Greenville. here in the 73rd minute. High cross, looks good, headed away by CIU. Still in the box though as stoppage of play and CIU will get the ball, foul against North Greenville within the box and a free kick taken quickly by the Rams. They'll get rid of it as it's bounced around at midfield. Swales now to Marks. And Previtt gets that one as it bounces around. Still loose in the CIU half of the field. Robinson forward back again to Marks, still down the left wing, trying to get it to Previtt. She keeps it inbound. Trying to work that near side edge of the box and CIU able to step in front of that one. And Edwards tries to send it down the field. She finds Janai McMaster. McMaster trying to go down the field to Swales. Huddleston comes out of her box to make a play on it and will just send it out of bounds. And it's actually not kept in bounds by Owens. The Rams will have a throw in. North Greenland's got to get defenders back there. They've got four right now. Two of them are with the ball. Our Swales making a spin around Marks. And Owens just puts a boot to it and Marks trips up Swales. No whistle, will play on. Here's Marks, this one deflected by Edwards. Owens has to cover that one again. Now at a disadvantage against Edwards and Swales. Makes one miss. Passes off to Marks as Owens goes down, tripped up by Swales and North Greenville will get it back. But that's just Tori Owens' trademark defense. Very, very hard for the opposing teams to get by her. Now less than 15 to play. Score remains the same. Two goals by Lindsay Toot and one by Megan Robertson. Now North Greenville with another attack. There comes a shot down the field. Bounces wide, CIU. Lowe's is contained for a moment and it bounces off the corner flag to the wrong side, it'll be a throw in. Two more substitutions for North Greenville. We've got Courtney Etheridge coming back in as well as Emma Carr back out on the field. Tori Owens taking a breather, as well as Ashton Robinson. Throw in makes it to the box, but Columbia International able to get rid of it. And North Greenville goes back to corral it as we have a flag from the far side official go up. Looks like Columbia International will get it back for a kick for some unknown reason to us. And a pinball effect, here's Etheridge. Hands off to Previtt, trying to get middle of the field. Number 18, able to get rid of it. Shumati for the Rams. North Greenville threatening again, but it will go out of bounds. And the goal kick for Simpson again. Yeah, 
Short kick right to North Greenville and Shimadi has to just send that one out of bounds. There's Marks. And here comes a line drive cost, possibly deflected. Yes, it is. And now North Greenville will be rewarded with a corner. The line drive kick headed in on goal and saved at the last moment. Incredible save by CIU number that looks like five. Kayla Collins, the last line of defense. Stood right in the way of the shot. It had gotten past the goalkeeper to the open, to the open space in the net. Just ran right into it and got it out of there. Now Swales. Able to get the ball away from Marks, but passes right to Etheridge, and now North Greenville back the other way. There's Carr getting a touch. Down the right wing, the Crusaders go again. Here comes a cross. Loose in the box. CIU has to get rid of it. They will. They'll keep it in bounds. They'll try to start an attack the other way. Number 12, that is Batterman. CIU trying to start an attack, passes down the field and out of bounds. Approaching now the 80th minute, 10 minutes left to play in the ball game. And North Greenville looking for four, here comes a cross. Again, kicked away, that's Collins again with some strong defense. Throw in for North Greenville yet again. Finds Marks momentarily. Now here comes a high cross that will sail wide into the right side of the net. And a goal kick for Simpson again. Eightieth minute now, North Green will still up three nil. North Green will still not done. Yet they have showed no signs of backing off. Uh, Columbia International trying to get something going. Here Swales to the center of the field. Picked up momentarily and then kicked away by NGU. And the Rams bounce it off the 10 out of bounds. Good hands there by Coach Robinson. As Hoover was giving CIU all kinds of fits. North Greenville with the throw in. Two defenders for Columbia International run into each other. Carr goes to Etheridge in the corner. Etheridge unable to keep it in bounds. And Simpson will send it away. That's another substitution for North Greenville. Number 12, Devin Worth coming into the game. Megan Robertson switches out. Greenville trying to formulate an attack down the left wing again. Has Marks there for the moment. CIU gets it back to Swales. And Hoover goes back on defense after Privet covers number nine. For CIU, that was Endicott. Battle now heads to the far side corner, a collision as CIU just bumps it out of bounds. North Greenville will have to take a throw in. One more substitution, number 22 for the Crusaders. Catherine Allen back in, switching for Marks.
High cross into the box, kicked up by Etheridge. Now right back to Hoover. Hoover in the middle of the box, tries a shot and headed away by Collins. Her third save, even though she's not a keeper. Interesting setup. Two Rams are standing on either pole. Greenville pre prepares to take a corner from the near side here. We'll just pass off looking here on the near side still. Number 22, Allen. Chips one in, headed away by CIU. Now here comes Angela McMaster back the other way. She goes forward to Swales. Collision with Allen, Swales drills one into the box, looking for number 12, trying to get it to Batterman, but North Greenville able to get rid of it. Two Rams fall down, Crusaders have the numbers. Five forward against only three for CIU. And that one just sent away, but North Greenville able to keep it in bounds. Now here comes the rest of the CIU Calvary. Back to the near side with Allen. And out in front of Etheridge. Will sail out of bounds and Simpson will send it away again. As Lindsay Tootin prepares to come back in. Well, maybe. Yep, here comes Lindsay Tootin preparing to come back in. Gonna have right around five minutes to try and get her hat trick. Wales making moves on the defense. Passes down past Previtt and Huddleston will come up to handle this one. Rams right back on the attack though. Trying to keep the speed. There goes Swales against Allen. And Allen will try and pin her in the near side corner. Here comes more numbers forward and CIU will have a throw in with under five minutes to play in the ball game. This one popped up into the box, sent back to center of the field, and North Greenville will be able to clear this one into some open space and get all the way back across midfield. Nice slide challenge though, but North Greenville called for it over there on the far side. CIU gets it back, under four and a half now to play. They now need three to equalize and Approaching almost three minutes to go. And the collision again. North Greenville trying to get their speed downfield. Gabriella Porter called for the infraction. Free kick back to the Rams. Headed up by North Greenville. Now they'll head back to the left goal. Got some distance, trying to get it to the middle of the field, looking for Porter. And now three North Greenville players surround the ball. Here comes a shot that will Slowly roll in, and an easy save for Simpson as number 24 for the Crusaders' car tries to get in on the scoring. Battle for it hard across midfield, and CIU tries to pick it up. 
And it's going to be bumped out of bounds by Swales at the last minute. And now here comes Allen in for the throw in for the Crusaders with two and a half minutes left to play. One substitution, Sarah Forster coming in for Devin Worth. Throwing into the backfield for the Crusaders as they will look to play keep away for the final 120 seconds. This one sent all the way down the field. CIU gives chase, and they will just send it out of bounds with under two minutes to play. And while North Greenville leading up, leading 3-0, North Greenville looking for a winning record here as the season slowly winding to a close, looking to go 6-5 and get on a two-game winning streak. That would be the first such streak since the first two games of the year. And North Greenville might not be done yet still. Number 12 almost had a good touch worth. Almost got in on the scoring. Now they'll still try to press the right wing, looking for the cross. Here it comes. And wide, white, right of the post. Final minute of play. Now North Greenville heads it in on goal. Worth again gives chase. But they were unable to get to it in time. Ball the flicks out of bounds. I think that's Hoover and number 11. Janai McMaster battle for it. Rolls back into the Rams box. Rams able to clear it. Can they turn around and get a quick score? It goes out of bounds. It's off of North Greenville, number 12. Biderman trying to make things happen as we enter the final 10 seconds. Crusaders will take a throw in. Throw it down the field as far as they can. Three, two, and one. Here comes a shot that's going to sail wide right at the last second. And North Greenville will shut out Columbia International by a score of three to nil. Lindsay Tootin tacks in two goals, and Megan Robertson adds to her tally on the season with one more. Speaking of season tallies, with those goals, Lindsay Tootin makes it to 11 goals on the season so far. Strong, strong offensive performance from Tootin. Almost three times as many as a year ago. Great offensive performance by the Crusaders. 3-0 victory. Shutout with two different goalies. And just an all-out great game for the Crusaders. And with this win, Crusaders move to six and five. Now for the first time since mid-September. September the 12th through the 15th. The last time the Crusaders were above 500, and now they sit at it again. And at a, on a two-game winning streak as well, North Greenville might be able to make some noise in conference play. Their next game will be against King University on the 17th. That's homecoming right here at Pepsi Stadium at 7 p.m. on the 17th. But first, we're, we have to get through our next broadcast, which will be tomorrow night over in Hayes Gymnasium. Women's Volleyball taking on the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors. And we will also catch up with, no we will, and we will wait for a moment to catch up with Andy Robinson. And also on the 17th we have homecoming against Tusculum College in football. That game slated to start at 2.30. Kick off against Tuscaloosa for 2:30, and then men's soccer will also take to the field on the 17th at 9 p.m. After the women soccer team has their homecoming against King as well, so doubleheader in soccer against King, and then to round out October, several several games we have soccer against Southern Wesley and women's soccer, football against University of God's Chosen, men's soccer against Southern Wesleyan. 
Women's soccer against Belmont Abbey. Men's soccer against Belmont Abbey, so another conference doubleheader there. Then on the 30th, we have women's volleyball against Pfeiffer. And on Halloween, women's volleyball against Belmont Abbey. Women's soccer against Barton. Football will be away at Wingate. Men's soccer back to the field against Barton on Halloween. Senior day for those guys. And then to round out October, women's volleyball against Winston-Salem State University at 5 p.m. on Halloween. Of course, you can stay up to date with all the latest news and our webcast schedule at ngcrusaders.com. Follow all of North Greenville's athletics from football to lacrosse. And men's volleyball will be starting, should be starting their second season, their only second season of play in the spring. Can't wait to see that ball club again. As here is head coach Andy Robinson with Ansley Brock. Coach, you won 3-0 tonight. How do you feel the overall performance of the team was? I think they did very well. Uh, sometimes when you come off a, a big game like we did with Converse, you don't know how they're going to show up the next the next game. And, and they really came out, did what they needed to do, played possession, knocked it around. So the fact that they didn't let there be a drop-off between games was very exciting. So very, very happy with this result, especially against CIU, uh, which they've, they've, they've had some tough games and have had good showing so far this season. So it's a good win for us. Okay, so what are some things that you say that the team could work on? Um, playing a little bit faster um, and just continue to play with that confidence and uh, moving the ball around and playing possession. And when momentum shifts, not to get rattled and uh, to continue to just be thorough and, and play tough and, and be aggressive. All right, well, congrats on your win. You All right, back much. to you guys. Head coach is Andy Robinson. That was his thoughts on his ball club improving to six and five with a tough stretch of conference games down the road to try and make some noise within the Conference Carolinas and make a run at a postseason tournament, possibly. So that will do it here for us from Pepsi Stadium. You can catch us live tomorrow night from over in Hayes as conference action women's volleyball, North Greenville, making a lot of noise in that department. We'll look to take on Southern Wesleyan to try and keep up with Erskine, who currently leads the way in women's volleyball, and try to get a top two or three seed maybe within the volleyball tournament. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Tomorrow night from Hayes Gymnasium, 7 p.m. Thank you for listening and watching tonight here on the North Greenville Sports Network.